Hi there, welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. In this video, I'm showing you how I paint a puffin, uh, creating layers. And to create the feathers, I use wet and wet, wet on wet technique and wet on dry, and also doing negative painting to create the delicate feathers on the puffin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's only a small video. So uh, if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and you will get notifications when I upload new content and it helps my channel to grow so I can create more videos for you and better videos. So thank you very much and um, let's get on with the video. Thank you. Bye bye. OK, so here we are again. And I'm going to be painting this little section of the feather and I'm going to use the paint color the same as what I have used in this section to start with, but very diluted. And then I'm going to add, so it's this one I'm using first, then I will be using this color, which is more like a, a violet color. This is more like a purple and this one is violet so I will be adding that on top of it once I let this section dry so I I have applied uh, water on this I will apply a little bit more just to make sure that this area is covered so for this section here I'm going to create some wispy feathers so I will apply that very lightly and with a brush, I will push the paint out to those wispy feathers when I get to go dark on that. So following my, my photo reference, I, I know just about where to place this color very carefully because underneath that, I'm going to create a, a shadow ridge, which is giving you the impression that this little bit of feather is sticking on top of the, the base layer, the, the feathers underneath. It's almost like a cape, if you like to say. <laughs> okay, so that's my first layer. Now I'm going to go with it a little bit darker, so I'm going to apply that... Um, lilac color on top so you can see it's more blue color but it's more it's like a lilac blue lilac color so what I achieve for these is I mixed um, paints gray a little bit of paints gray um, red and um, ultramarine so it didn't become too dark. Okay, so with the brush, I just um, cleaned my brush, dabbed it in the um, tissue, and then I'm just going to lift this. So I'm just going to push it with the brush to give it more of a wispy effect on the feathers. And this is a nice technique to use. So I don't want to apply too much paint. Maybe just a little bit in my brush, just to help it a little bit to push. So I, put, I place the uh, darker side here and then with the end of the tip of the brush, I will push that out. So clean my brush, dab it in a tissue, then go again and just help the little tips to come out. You can see that it's making a nice wispy effect. Just go randomly applying these feathers so they don't look too heavy and a little bit more natural. And there you go. Okay, so I'll let that dry now. While I'm letting this dry, so I'm moving on to something a little bit different. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start working on this section here. So I'm going to create a, a line there um, with that dark purple again. And this time I'm going to do it 
wet on dry so I'm going to apply the watery mixture that I originally applied for this section here and again just working light from light to dark so I want a line there and that is going to be quite dark there as well and then it has got a little gap here which I have drawn it but it's not very clear so I'm thinking it is about there I think so we're going to make the the layers of these little feathers it's about there um, I think and then I'm going to make the, the layers in between that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of water here and what happens is those little bits that I place there will spread into that water so it won't look so harsh when that comes up here. And all these area is quite light. Looks dark on the photograph but it isn't. I'll show you the photograph you might not be able to see that because the the photo itself has um, overexposed this area so you can't see it but there is a little bit there so this bit is darker this bit is lighter up here and that's that's the bit I'm painting at the moment so this bit here and then I did this one as well before okay so back to it um, right okay Okay, so I'm going to paint this little section here now and I gradually uh, bring in the whole thing together. So I'm going to wet this area because I think it would be easier to wet it and then apply the darker sections between the feathers once um, I go over. It'll be easier that way, I hope. <laughs> okay, so wet it first. So I only want it to go there and this bit here. So this section here, I'm going to apply the um, lighter lilac colour. So I'm going to dilute that. It's more like a, a bluey uh, lilac. It's got more ultramarine on this um, paint. So this section here will make it darker later on. So I want to create a sweeping feathers coming down. Looking at reference photo for guidance so I don't go too far. And um, just adding the top layer there. It has got like a darker section here. Little uh, puffing birds have got so many feathers they're beautiful utterly beautiful love them i haven't seen one uh in person but i would definitely um would love to do this and uh it's one of my priorities to uh, be able to uh, experience um these little fellows um a bit closer so I think I've given this too many feathers here, but it doesn't matter. That's the beauty about being an artist. You can create your own uh, design, change it how you want it. If you want to add an extra feather, then you do that. It's not a problem. So the section between these feathers that I'm leaving in white they are actually like a grey colour. So I'm going to use the purple for that. A very diluted purple. And apply it on those bits there. So just going to dab the brush. And because it's already wet, it will spread. Then I clean my brush, dab in a tissue, and then I just move it a bit. And that will spread nicely in between there. Because I'm only applying a little bit of water, it doesn't spread too much. I will go over this to make it darker later on. 
Okay. All right. That's looking very good. Okay, this section here, I'm creating a little shadow. So I'm going to create a shadow underneath this feather to make it look um, that's coming over. So what I've done is I mixed um, a bit more Payne's Grey to the mixture I originally, originally applied to that. So to make it darker. This time I'm not going to do wet on wet, I'm going to do wet on dry. So I'm going to go over the edge and just leaving a little bit of that edge there. So that's going to be the lighter edge of the feather. So I'm looking at my reference photo for guidance. And it goes all the way up here. And it comes out. To about there, I think. So this is almost um, straight. So looking at the photo again, I'm going to apply that and I want it to go into a point there. It is quite difficult to do a shadow. what's happening to this feather so you apply the paint in and you can see I'm creating that curve to look more realistic I can go in a bit more and I'm creating an edge there so I want this to be a bit rounder here so I'm going to just apply the paint again just to make it a little bit more curved so paint comes down a bit more here so replicating the, the depth of these feathers there we go this section here I'm applying a negative painting so I'm trying to cover this, I wet it first and then I'm covering it but I'm also going very carefully here because there are some wispy feathers and I'm trying to keep that. So with a damp brush I go over to spread that paint um, where I want it to go but keeping in mind where those wispy feathers are so about here so I don't want to go too far in and it is closer to there actually so I'm creating this wispy feather so going in with a very thin brush pushing that paint in a little bit to create those feathery uh, bit um, tips of feathers I meant to say so you can see what I'm doing there doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same as the photograph but we know what you're trying to achieve there and it will still look fantastic so whenever you're doing something like this just use your own um, design of what you would like where you like those wispy, feather, wispy feathers to be um, Okay, so I created a darker shadow here as well because that's quite dark and it comes down here. So I can keep on applying that dark colour to spread downwards here. So start from the top and going down. And leaving a little bit of gaps in between to insinuate the the feathers are separated a little bit there so I'm applying a little bit more water and I don't want it to be too heavy yet because it keeps on drying on me so that's fine now I'm going to apply the paint again and it will just spread from the top down 
and insinuate where the feathers are. I will go in again with um, dry paint, sorry, with a, wet, with a damp brush. I will go over again with a damp brush to um, separate those feathers a little bit more. So now I'm leaving this to dry because I don't want to play with it anymore because it's going to go horribly, horribly wrong if I do so. There we go.